So now the question is, what is the meaning of geography? In simple terms, geography means the study of Earth. It's the Earth that we are trying to study. Try to understand this. On Earth, we have two important components. First, it is the physical features like mountains, hills, valleys, plains, plateaus, oceans, lakes, deserts, and wilderness. And then we have human beings. I mean, without humans, Earth would be like any other planet. Now in human society, we have variations in terms of social and cultural form. We have people belonging to different community, different background with different beliefs. So it is really interesting to see the relationship between the physical environment and social or cultural features. From poetic point of view, we can say physical environment is like a stage and human societies are the actors performing. Now try to relate this. You go to different places, you witness new culture, new social values and that can be seen through the architectural style, food, rituals, customs, human behavior, etc. So all these creative skills were invented by people on the landform over a long period of time. So this is what geography helps us in understanding the relationship between the physical aspect and the human aspect of the earth. The term geography was first coined by Eratosthenes, a Greek scholar. Geo means earth and graphos means description. So it is the description of earth that we are trying to understand in geography. Now geography has many disciplines like natural science and social science. Under natural sciences, we have geology, pedology, oceanography, botany, zoology, meteorology, etc. And under social science, we have economics, history, sociology, political science, anthropology, etc. These all disciplines study different aspects of the earth. Now, one of the important work of a geographer is not just to study the variation in the physical feature of the earth, but also to understand the association with other factors like what causes these variations. For example, cropping patterns differ from region to region, but we also know it is closely related to factors like soil, climate, demands in the market, investment and technological availability. So you see the correlation between two phenomena. And one more important point that you need to understand is that these geographical phenomena are not static, they are dynamic, meaning they change over time. Human society is growing and changing rapidly, and so is the physical landform. The early human society, we call them primitive society, they were directly dependent on the nature for food, clothing and shelter. And if you see now, the present society is inventing new technology to utilize natural resources. One good example would be, with the creation of big machines, physical environment can be modified by humans, which was extremely difficult once upon a time. Therefore, we can say technology brought freedom. It helped in reducing the harshness of labor, increased labor efficiency, and provided leisure to human beings to attend to the higher need of life. With so much of development around, we now find humanized nature and naturalized human beings. Remember this term. It means humans have converted the environment totally the way they want it, with the help of their natural creativity and thought process.